Well, we're pretty much done here with the catch basin built out of rock. <coughs> I love the way it looks. It's all natural. It goes real well with the homestead here, with everything, old farm place being here. So I really like the way it looks. I hope it works out good. Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name's Zeb. So starting today, we're forecasted to get rain for the next five days straight. We've been working on trying to take care of all this runoff water from around the house. We've been having a lot of issues with that. We get a lot of water that comes off the back pasture and this back rock, the rock in the backyard. It's been washing out my road out here to the barn. When we graded out the backyard, I dumped some dirt out here and just kind of smoothed it out with the track code just good enough to where we could drive across. And so I've been working on putting a ditch in this top side of this road and uh, sloping this whole road down to this ditch. We've just got it dressed up a little bit and to where I think it's going to work. It's starting to rain right now. And like I said, it's supposed to rain for the next five days straight. Well, I just threw the track off trying to pack down the side of this bank. Ran the track off the idler side, so we got to get it put back on real quick. Hopefully real quick. There's a little piston right here, this grease field. This grease is real cold today, so it's taking a long time to come out. When it's hot, it usually just comes out pretty quick. That might be enough. So I've just roughed in a ditch starting from the corner of the driveway here all the way down all the way out to the barn we're going to be putting in a catch basin and a culvert right here somewhere this is the lowest spot in the front yard so I had three pipe delivered the other day they're 12 inch corrugated road pipe they're 20 foot long so that's 60 foot of pipe that I'm going to be putting in and that catch basin is going right here somewhere so I just started digging the trench here from the other side of the driveway to where we're going to be putting that catch basin in and i'm running into a whole lot of rock right here square rock so i want to try to build this catch basin instead of buying one like a concrete box for this pipe to run into i want to build this catch basin out of this natural stone right here i think it's going to look real cool we'll put a metal grate over the top of it and hopefully it'll work out like i'm wanting it to every five foot every five foot this way when it be when it come up four inches yeah, but you, and that was eight feet right there, right? But you didn't mark it over. So any time come Four. Over five feet.
Well, we got our three pieces of pipe put in. Come out a whole lot longer than I thought it was gonna be, but that's just fine. Actually, I probably would have liked it to come out a little bit more, but I'm not buying another piece of pipe, so it's just gonna have to be okay. We're gonna work on building this little catch basin out of rock, I think. So when we got the pipe put in underneath the road, we come right over here in the low spot in the front yard and dug a hole and kind of lined it with rocks just so all the dirt wouldn't wash off down in the hole. And it worked for the four days that it rained, but it washed a lot of the dirt around from behind the rocks. Just cause I kind of just stuck them in here. We were running out of time. I didn't really place them all that good. So yesterday I come back and I dug all this back out and took all the rocks out. And I made the hole a little bit bigger and I'm actually placing the rocks in spot now and, and getting them positioned a lot better than I did last time. I'm gonna to try to make a, a homemade catch basin. I've got a grate sitting right over here that I pulled out from beside the house. I'm gonna to try to use it. I priced a concrete catch basin and it was right at $1,000 for the concrete catch basin and a great lid. So I'm gonna to try to do this for free. Might take a lot longer, but I think it's gonna look pretty cool if it works and it's gonna be a lot cheaper. The whole middle of this is that big base rock that we put in. It's a nice flat rock and we stuck it in there with the trico. But I've got the first row put down and packed in with dirt all around the rocks. Kind of like using dirt as mortar. Um, it's nice wet clay so I'm hoping it'll hold together. And then we're just working on the second row here. And I've probably got two to three more rows to come up. This side over here worked really well. The water rushed right over top of our top rock and flowed down in. This rock was sitting a little too high, so the water actually rose around this rock and it washed the banks off. Mainly, mainly this side right here, it washed a lot of this out. So I've got to drop this one down a little bit. that's gonna work put another layer of rocks right on the outside of this it'll step down into the grate just a little bit because I've got to drop this grate elevation down anyways a little bit and this side that might wind up being too high but I think it'll work Get some more dirt packed in around these rocks where they're a little bit more steady. Fill in the void spots a little bit more with some bigger rocks. And then we'll start placing these. These two big ones are gonna go on either sides where the water can run over top of them. Right up to the grate here. And the water will just trickle in and go down.
Okay. Now, we'll put the grate in here. best that way. Well, that was a pretty fun project. I hope this one works out better than the first time I did it. It should. I've stacked these a whole lot better and organized them better. 
and the first time where we just kind of threw them in there for the time being so the grape fits on there real well so the kids don't fall in it we're just going to pick up the rest of these rocks get this all cleaned up right here rake everything out smooth it out and then we'll see what it looks like when we get all that finished up well we're pretty much done here with the catch basin built out of rock <coughs> i love the way it looks it's all natural it goes real well with the homestead here with everything old farm place being here so i really like the way it looks i hope it works out good the grate opens up real nice you can take it all the way out and get down in there and clean it and uh definitely strong enough to stand on so some of this dirt's probably going to wash off when we get some big rainstorms this winter we get a lot of rain during the winter time our growing season is when it's dry so late spring summer and early fall we don't get that much rain so before i can plant grass on this i'm sure some of this will wash off and i'll have to put some dirt back in some spots and after everything settles down a little bit after a couple rain storms uh I'm sure I'll have to come in here and pack some dirt back in some spots. Once I get the grass sowed and it starts growing and it's holding the soil together, I think this is going to work really well. So I'm excited about this. I'm excited to see it work the next time it rains. Well, I hope everybody's enjoyed this video. we got a lot more projects to do here on the homestead. A couple buildings we're going to be building this summer. A lot more yard work to do and grading and stuff like that. But I believe that's going to be all for this video. Hope you all have enjoyed it. And we'll see you in the next one.